Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. This is Andrea. No, this is Andrea. I'm gonna do for this half of, uh, half of my face, which is my right face, part of my face, I'm gonna do the Au Naturel in Honey. And then the other one, I'll do something else. I'm gonna use this one with um, Vicky Beauty. I like a powder foundation, especially for summer, because it holds so much better in the heat. And uh, most of the foundations that I use, which are the mineral ones, also have SPF in there. So I don't mind adding up some more SPF. Definitely not. Gonna go underneath my eye now. And I like to go down too, to kind of match. And I think this should be good. And I can go a little bit with my finger right up here. I could use a brush, but why bother? Although I need something underneath my eye there. Much better. All right, and now for the liquid, I'm just gonna use this Kosas um, concealer, but it's not really a very high coverage concealer and nor is it thick. So to me, it more resembles the, um, um, the consistency of a foundation. So I hope I didn't put too much, but usually it's not very um, concentrated, not very, um, not a lot of, oh, gosh, I can't think of the word. Coverage, that's the one. But it leaves a nice um, smoothing on the skin and it's, uh, it's really nice as a foundation. A little more on the under eye to make a match. My spot there, a little under the nose, around the nose. Now, if you have dark circles, like me, but if you want a lot more coverage, you can leave your um, concealer or wherever you're putting up there, if it's liquid, let it dry a tiny bit, like a couple minutes, which I didn't do. But if you let it dry a little bit, it sticks better to the skin and it's got more uh, more coverage. And there we go. I don't know how much is there, but good enough. All right, I think it's good. My nose, did I get my nose? I don't remember getting my nose. Okay, now I do have to set this up, especially under my eye, because it um, it will it will start to shine. I'm gonna use these Kosas Air Cloud Set and Airy. I'm just gonna take it on this Elf brush and just go under my eye, nose, and forehead, kind of everywhere. It's, this powder is not drying, so it will definitely leave your whatever, however your your foundation looks before you put it on. That's kind of like what it stays like, unless it's like really do it, then it will be a little um, more matte. But other than that, it can it really uh, keeps your radiance showing through, and I like that. I like that a lot. And that's kind of like how it looks. I don't know if you can tell. There is no peeling, there's no flaking. Um, it looks really nice. I'm gonna start with my 
brows and I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown uh, it's a powder duo I'll show you it looks like this can you see and I'm gonna start with the light side on this Brow Chica Wow from MOTD and I'm gonna just do it in the front part of my eyebrows because I like to keep this part light now if I didn't have this one which I didn't have it before um, I would just kind of leave it blank or go lightly with whatever color that I'm using but because I have it I might as well just use it just enough to kind of fill in and um, give it more depth and then I'm gonna brush them up first and I'll lift them up and go underneath Then I'm gonna brush them down and go on top. And then just brush it through. And if I need to fill any more in, then I will. Looks like I do. That's good for now. And then I'm gonna go on to the other eye. And I already did the first part. I'm gonna brush it. Brush it up first. This is thicker. I'm trying to make a match. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. This is spinning. This bully is spinning. It's giving me trouble today. Okay. Gonna leave it be. Then I'm gonna use this Kosas Airbrow. It's a gel in clear. Just enough to keep them up. Don't really need a lot of hold, but if you like a crunchy, like a really strong hold, this is not gonna do it. For my eyes, I wanna use um, the uh, Fit Glow Night Palette, just a couple of um, shades that I really like from there. But I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna do the bronzer first, yeah. Let's do the bronzer first. I'm gonna use these um, Shapely from Fit Glow. Taking on a Elf Flawless Face brush. Tap out the excess and just, I'm just gonna go on my forehead. Gonna shrink it down a bit. Give my face some dimension. Under the chin, right in the jawline. Now make sure it's like softened up so it doesn't look like a patch of color. Then I'm gonna take these uh, Fit Glow Kind in Kind. It's a bl the blush, Fit Glow Blush in Kind. And I'm gonna use it on the same. Oh, I should have used the other brush. Oh well too late now it's a little I guess I took a little too much so that's when I go like these and wipe it off keep your blush like in the out part of your face don't bring it in too close to your um, middle of the cheeks and then I just like to bring it up Wipe up whatever is extra too much. And 
bronzer is um, optional, so is blush. But if it makes you feel good, put it on. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop right there. Sometimes after after I put it on, um, after a little bit, it starts to kind of melt in. It looks less intense, and I don't know if it is because my skin maybe gets a little red with the movement or what, but that's just what happens. So I'm gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyes after I do the highlight. <laughs> Where is it? Right here. I'm gonna use the Armes Beauty in Grand Dame. Grand Dame. I'm gonna take it in the same brush and just tap it in there, tap it off. Now, I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? My face already has luminosity, but it definitely focuses it more or intensifies it more, I should say, if I put it up. Okay, replaces. Bigger pot. And then let's go into the eyes now. I'm gonna use these uh, bronzer to actually um, go into the crease and I'm gonna take um, Angie, collaboration with BK Beauty and A502. I'm just gonna take the bronzer that I used on my face and just go around and create my crease. Underneath the lash line, three quarters in. Same on the other side. And then I'm gonna take these Rollo from Fickle Beauty from the uh, Night Palette. I'm just gonna dip it in with the same brush. It's satin, um, but kind of has a lot of luminosity and I'm just gonna deepen up the corner of my eye. Go up on the crease and down in a V motion into my lash line. Up and down, up and down. And if you wanna focus the color in one place, you just Go around like this, make little swirlies. And I'm gonna go underneath, just one quarter though. That's it. Just to deepen that outer part. Okay, I'm gonna do the same in the other eye. Smudge it in a bit. Okay, I am going to take these Fit Glow Fizz from the same palette. It's really pretty. This is like probably my favorite color from there. I have not been able to find this color anywhere else. I'm gonna use the same brush, just gonna um, clean it up a bit. And just it's very strong so I'm gonna start in the middle of my eyelid and then just bring it towards my inner and then out too but I want it kind of like that strongest part to be there because it is so strong and then in the inner corner and drag it out just a quarter up a quarter down Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you check with both eyes to make sure they look both the same. And then I'm just gonna take uh, this brush that I used and just clean it up again. 
just go around and smooth out any edges that may be too much or too little and just kind of make it all nice make it all nice all right now i'm just gonna take the same uh color and go on top of my eyebrow because i forgot earlier just underneath, just a thin line. Can you see that? All right, now, if you want extra, there's two things we can do, but I'll, I'll do it, because I like it. I'm gonna use the Fit Glow um, Beauty in Mulberry. It's a, the, um, eyeshadow pencil and I'm just gonna go from the middle out it's like a mix between brown and purple not really brown not really purple just a mix and I'm just gonna pull out a bit of that line to make it stand out a bit and then down on the eyelash the lower eyelash just that that corner that we already did can you see the difference? I'm gonna um, smooth it out a bit, but this is what it looks like, the difference. Forgot to smooth it out down there. There we go, much better. Now you can really see. I'm gonna do the same on the other eye, sorry. From the middle out. Okay, and now another extra is the uh, Pacifica uh, pencil in bare. It makes the eye pop a little more. That's that. And then mascara. That's the only thing we're missing. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Big Papa. It's got a chubby brush, bristles, and um, it really makes a difference in the lashes. Wiggle, wiggle, pull through. Isn't this nice? I'm just cleaning up now with a clean brush. It's a spoolie, not a brush. And now for the real cleanup, I'm gonna use a Q-tip that I'm gonna rotate. And this is it. FitGlow does a very good job with their um, eyeshadows. I really like them. Um, it's really, they're really soft and they, they're pigmented, but you can work with them. They move as much as you move them. And it's just really, they're also good for your skin. So they have good ingredients, good skin ingredients, hugging ingredients that will make your skin look better than what it was when you first started. So that's a plus. Okay. This is it. 
Uh, I really like how it turned out. You guys let me know how you like it. I think it looks really good. Really, really good. Um, as a topper, should we put something on? Let's try this. Um, I just got this Fit Glow Beauty in Rosé. It's their um, illuminating, I don't even know. It's, it comes in different kinds of um, colors. And this one is in Rosé, so it's very pretty. I'll show you. This is what it looks on. I don't know if you can really tell. It's really faint, not really much of a color. You can see it up here. But just as a topper, let's see how that goes. Tell me if you see a difference. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you see? I hope you can. It's really pretty. Kind of um, adds a blurred pinky um, hue to the skin. That's nice. I like it. Okay. This is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the look. I really like it. As per usual, I like makeup, so that's no, no news there. But I hope you got something out of it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, it is 8.30. Um, I've had this makeup on for oof, nine and a half hours, 10 hours, 10 hours. Um, I uh, went to the grocery store, ran around, grabbed a bunch of stuff. Um, I ran around a, around a lot of errands. <laughs> and also I cooked and I also um, may stay by the uh, stove. So anyways, the day was really busy. I just want to see how to show you how actually the um, makeup were. This is the side with the powder, and this is the side with the uh, Kosas um, concealer and setting it up. Now you can see I'm really, really shiny. <laughs> like, really, really shiny. I'll take even closer. Uh, quite the settlement. I did not powder anymore and then I did not um, blot either. So this is just how it is after um, not touching it at all. Now, I, you can tell that the uh, my nose has been rubbed off and then my um, the part with the concealer actually looks like it settled more than the side with the powder foundation, which I already knew. That's why I wear powder foundation mostly because it's just holds much better during the day um you can tell which one did better. even under eyes i mean you can see the under eyes um they're both bad but this one seems like it's worse but anyways this is how it is <laughs> at the end of the day with oily t-zone or skin you know anyways this is the uh, update I'll see you uh, next time. Take care. Bye.